hobbits share a love of things that grow. Just tea, thank you. Oh. Oh. The finest weed in the South Farthing. Go on, Sam. It is in the ground. Outside. That was your idea. I'm trying to help you. I haven't been dropping no eaves, sir, honest. No. Perhaps not. Come on, Sam. I'm never gonna be able to sleep out here. Me neither, Sam. Mr. Frodo? Frodo? Frodo! I thought I'd lost you. What are you talking about? It's just something Gandalf said. What did he say? Don't you lose him, Samwise Gamgee. No, I don't mean to. Sam, we're still in the Shire. What could possibly happen? No! Frodo! Mary, it's Frodo Baggins. Hello, Frodo. Get off! Come on, Frodo. What's right. the meaning of this? Hold it. You've been in the Farmer Maggot's crop! <laughs> What's that? This, my friend, is a pint. It comes in paints. Oh. I'm getting one. You've got all half already. Are you frightened? Let it go! Or I'll have you, long saints! We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? Tis the lay of Luthien, the elf maiden who gave her love to Beren, a mortal. What happened to her? She died. Get some sleep, Frodo. Save some for you, Mr. Frodo. Frodo! Oh, Look, Frodo. It's Mr. Bilbo's trolls. Mr. Frodo? What's this? A ranger caught off his guard? That's the wind, Betty. Hon Mabathon, Rohon Alin Eam. And the Rui Ben.
Sam must hardly lift your sight. We were that worried about you, weren't we, Mr. Gandalf? Your uncommon purpose, friend. Have a bad, I will ask. I will take it! Give us a civilian! I will take it! I will take the ring to Mordor. anywhere without me. No, indeed, it is hardly possible to separate you even when he is summoned to a secret council and you are not. Oi! We're coming too! We'll have to send us all tied up in a sack to stop it. Anyway, you need people of intelligence on this sort of mission, quest, thing. Well, that rules you out. Where are we going? for a pony. Even one so brave as Bill. Bye-bye, Bill. Go on, Bill. Go on. Don't worry, sir. He knows the way home. I wish the ring had never come to me. I wish none of this had happened. So do all who live to see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. There are other forces at work in this world, Frodo, besides the will of evil. Bilbo was meant to find the ring. In which case, you also were meant to have it. And that is an encouraging thought. Frodo! Oh! He's a 
life. I'm alright. I'm not hurt. You should be dead. Nobody tosses a dwarf! Knock the man! Finest rockets ever seen. They burst in stars of blue and green. Or after thunder, silver showers came falling like a rain of flowers. Oh, that doesn't do them justice by a long You will taste man flesh! Olympus. Elvish waybread. One small bite is enough to fill the stomach of a grown man. How many did you eat? Four. Do not fear, young Peregrine Took. You will find your courage. Have some food, Mr. Frodo. No, sir. You haven't eaten anything all day. And you're not sleeping either. Don't think I haven't noticed. Mr. Frodo. I'm all right. But you're not. I'm here to help you. I promised Gandalf that I would. You can't help me, Sam. Not this time. Get some sleep. Especially Sam. He will not understand. Mr. Frodo! No! Look at me! Run, Frodo. Go! Hey! Hey, you! Over here! Hey! Over here! This way! Where is Frodo? I let Frodo go. Then you did what I could not. I tried to take the ring from him. The ring is beyond our reach now. Forgive me. I did not see. I have failed you all. No, Boromir. You fought bravely. You have kept your honor. Leave it. It is over. The world of men will fall. And all will come to darkness. And my city to ruin. I do not know what strength is in my blood. But I swear to you, I will not let the White City fall. Nor our people fail.
my king. Alone. Of course you are. And I'm coming with you. You can't uh, swim. Uh, 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 Sam! Uh, I made a promise, Mr. Frodo. A promise. Don't you leave him, Samwise Gamgee. And I don't mean to. I don't mean to. Oh, Sam. find a safer road. Strider will look after him. I don't suppose we'll ever see them again. We may yet, Mr. Frodo. We may. Sam. I'm glad you're with me. Mr. Furrow. Nothing. Just a dream. having a roast chicken one night or something. Roast chicken? You never know. Sam. My dear Sam. Well, there's nothing for it. It's one of my knots. Won't come free in a hurry. Real Elvis rope.
You want some? Huh? Then keep your mouth shut. Cut off your head, dwarf, if it stood but a little higher from the ground. You would die before your stroke fell. Taller than you. Pip, everyone knows. I'm the tall one. You're the short one. <laughs> Please, Mary. You're what? Three foot six at the most? Whereas me, I'm pushing three seven. Uh... Three eight. Potatoes, no. boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. No one at home will believe this. A <laughs> ah! one counts as mine! taking me, Sam. If I put it on, he'll find me. He'll see. Mr. Frodo. Stop it! Leave him alone! You look terrible. Shut 
happening out there? Shall I describe it to you? Or would you like me to find you a box? Angelus! <laughs> you are ready! I'm on 17! Ah! I have no point to yell out scoring me! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Treebeard's right. We don't belong here, Mary. It's too big for us. What can we do in the end? We've got the Shire. Maybe we should go home. The fires of Isengard will spread. And the woods of Tukbro and Buckland will burn. And... And all that was once green and good in this world will be gone. There won't be a Shire. It's a long way. Toss me. What? I cannot jump the distance and have to toss me. <laughs> Don't tell the elf. Not a word. The closer we are to danger, the further we are from harm. It's the last thing he'll expect. Mr. Fordle. Do this, Sam. I know. It's all wrong. By rights, we shouldn't even be here. But we are. It's like in the great stories, Mr. Frodo. The ones that really mattered. Full of darkness and danger they were. And sometimes you didn't want to know the end. Because how could the end be happy? How could the world go back to the way it was when so much bad had happened? But in the end, it's only a passing thing. The shadow. Even darkness must pass. A new day will come. And when the sun shines, it'll shine out the clearer. Those were the stories that stayed with you. That meant something. Even if you were too small to understand why. But I think, Mr. Furrow, I do understand. I know now. 
folk in those stories had lots of chances of turning back, only they didn't. They kept going. Because they were holding on to something. What are we holding on to, Sam? There's some good in this world, Mr. Furl. And it's worth fighting for. Final count, 42. 42? Oh, that's not bad for a pointy-eared elvish princeling. I myself am sitting pretty on 43. <laughs> 43. He was already dead. He was twitching. He was twitching? Cause he's got my axe embedded in his nervous system! What are you doing? Nothing. World's back to normal. That's all. No, it isn't. I'm starving. I wonder if we'll ever be put into songs or tales. What? I wonder if people will ever say, let's hear about Frodo in the ring. And they'll say, yes, it's one of my favorite stories. Frodo was really courageous, wasn't he, Dad? Yes, my boy. The most famousest of hobbits. And that's saying a lot. <laughs> You've left out one of the chief characters. Samwise the Brave. I want to hear more about Sam. Frodo wouldn't have got far without Sam. Now, Mr. Frodo, you shouldn't make fun. I was being serious. So was I. Samwise the Brave. Not before Mr. Frodo said something to eat. Your time to lose.
Oh no, I'm not hungry. At least he's not for Lambus bread. Sad. All right. We don't have that much left. We have to be careful. Or we're going to run out. You go ahead and eat that, Mr. Fuller. I've rationed it. That should be enough. For what? The journey home. <laughs> Welcome, my lords, to Isengard! Rascals! A merry hunt you've led us on, and now we find you feasting and, and smoking! We are sitting on a field of victory, enjoying a few well-earned comforts. The salted pork is particularly good. <laughs> no pauses, no spits, and no regurgitation. So, it's a drinking game. Last one standing wins. Let's take the victory! that go swimming with little hairy women. I feel something. A slight tingle in my fingers. I think it's affecting me. What did I say? He can't hold his little. Game over. That's far and wide. You can drink the whole town dry. Sorry, all right. I won't do it again. Don't you understand? The enemy thinks you have the ring. He's going to be looking for you, Pip. They have to get you out of here. And you... You're coming with me. Mary? Come on. Here. Something for the room. Last of the long bottom leaf. I know you've run out. You smoke too much, Pip. But we'll see each other soon. Won't we? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Mary. Ranch artifacts. Show us the meaning of haste. Mary! <laughs> Everywhere I went, since before we were tweens, I would get him into the worst sort of trouble. But I was always there to get him out. Now he's gone. Just like Frodo and Sam. One thing I've learned about hobbits, they are most hardy folk. 
Foolhardy, maybe. He's a took. <laughs> Mr. Fertile? What is it? It's just a feeling. I don't think I'll be coming back. Yes, you will. Of course you will. That's just morbid thinking. We're going there and back again. Just like Mr. Bilbo. You'll see. Mr. Fordo, look. The king has got a crown again. You listen to me. You listen good and proper. If anything happens to him, you'll have me to answer to. One sniff, something's not right. One hair stands up on the back of my head. It's over. And no more slinker. No more stinker. You're gone. Got it. And Rohan will answer. Muster the row, hear him. What are you up to? Sneaking off, are we? Sneaking? Sneaking? Hobbit is always so polite. Smeagol shows them secret ways that nobody else could find. And they'll say, Sneak! Sneak! Very nice, friend. Oh, yes, my precious. Very nice. Very all right, all right. You just startled me as all. What were you doing? Sneak. I'll get it! Sam! No! Oh my, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it to go so far. I was just so, so angry. Here, just, just rest a bit. I'm all right. No, no, you're not all right. You're exhausted. 
But we have no songs for great halls and evil times. And why should your songs be unfit for my halls? Come, sing me a song. Home is behind the world ahead And there are many paths to tread Through shadow to the edge of night Until the stars are on And shadow, cloud and shade, all shall fade. All shall fade. I summon you to fulfill your oath. None but the King of Gondor may command me. That line was broken. Uh, it has been remade. Uh, uh. Fight for us. And regain your honor. We warn you. Prepare to be warned. <laughs> Warded by you and whose army? This army. <laughs> Point now in hoping. If I were a knight of Rohan, capable of great deeds, but I'm not. I'm a hobbit. And I know I can't save Middle Earth. I just want to help my friends. Frodo. Anything I wish I could see them again. Mr. Frodo. Frodo. Mr. Frodo.
There's plenty for the both of us. May the best dwarf win. I'm so sorry. Sorry for everything. Let's get you out of here. Oh, it's too late. It's over. They've taken it. Sam, they took the ring. Begging your pardon, but they haven't. I thought I'd lost you. So I took it. Only for safekeeping. Give it to me. Give me the ring, Sam. Sam. Give me the ring. Understand. The ring is my bird. It will destroy you, Sam. Come on, Mr. Foyle. We'd best find you some clothes. You can't go walking through Mordor and not by your skin. Sam, help me! Mr. Foyle! Fighting side by side with an elf. What about side by side with a friend? I. I could do that.
wish I had Mr. Furlong. It'll be spring soon. The orchards will be in blossom. And the birds will be nesting in the hazel thicket. And they'll be sowing the summer barley in the lower fields. And eating the first of the strawberries with cream. Do you remember the taste of strawberries? No, Sam. I can't recall the taste of food. No, the, the sound of water. Uh, touch of grass. I'm naked in the dark. There's, there's nothing, no veil between me and the wheel of fire. I can see him with my waking eyes. Then let us be rid of it. Once and for all. Come on, Mr. Frodo. I can't carry it for you. But I can carry you! Come on!
friends. You bow to no one. It is time, Rhoda. What does he mean? We set out to save the Shire, Sam. And it has been saved. But not for me. You don't mean that. You can't leave. The last pages are for you, Sam. Dear Sam, you cannot always be torn in two. You will have to be one and a whole for many years. You have so much to enjoy and to be and to do. Your part in the story will go on. <laughs> 